I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. In 1942, FDR startled the world by meeting Churchill, de Gaulle, and Giraud in Casablanca. Gave the Axis two words, unconditional surrender. This was resolved by establishing a family facility at Crystal City, Texas, 110 miles southwest of San Antonio. The filming of the Crystal City facility, which you are about to see, shows how men Women and children, detainees of World War II, lived, worked, and played under traditional American standards of decent and humane treatment. Therefore, with profound consciousness of my responsibilities to my countrymen and to my country's cause, I have tonight issued a proclamation that an unlimited national emergency exists and requires the strengthening of our defense to the extreme limit of our national power and authority. This is the perimeter over which armed guards kept a 24-hour watch. About 250 Americans were born in this hospital. Carefully selected movies were shown each week in the two recreation halls. It was important, of course, that normal living conditions prevail, and to that end, those detained were expected to do most of the work in connection with the operation of the facility. The cooperation of the detainees, for the most part, was excellent, and the long and valuable experience gained through the years by the men and women of the Immigration and Naturalization Service in dealing with aliens of all nationalities made possible the efficient functioning of the program. We will never forget you You will never leave In our hearts we've kept you